Hello and welcome. So in this problem, we're going to use an area model to break apart what's happening here. Now there's lots of ways to solve it. I think I'll just show one. Um, I'm going to stress the area model and stress the pattern I see here. Um, so I'll split up my area model into four regions. Some, some problems can have more regions to them, but this is set up so it can be dealt with in four regions. And what I notice is that um, the, the whole term 7x plus 1 is being squared, right? So we can actually say that this area, I don't, I don't know what 7x plus 1 squared is, we could figure it out. But if this region represents that, doesn't it make sense that both sides have to be 7x plus 1? Think about this for a moment, right? This literally means 7x plus 1 squared. That literally means 7x plus 1 times 7x plus 1. So here, if this region is 7x plus 1 squared, that's the same thing as having an area where two sides are 7x plus 1, right? But think about it again, 7x plus 1 times itself is literally 7x plus 1 squared. Now, if I, if I put negative 4x squared over here, and usually we put constants over here, but, you know, area models are flexible. Uh, you can do lots of things with them. So if you, if you try it out and see what happens, you, in this problem, you'd be pleasantly surprised. Because negative 2x times positive 2x, that is negative 4x squared. Uh, and I'm going to stick with those factors because I need these regions to be opposites. Why? Well, this region right here is just 7x plus 1 times 2x. And notice I'm not going to compute it. I'm just going to set it up. There's a reason for that as well. And then over here I have 7x plus 1 times 2x. Now, I'm not going to compute it because what I notice is that this product is the opposite of this product. And I know that because we're just taking 7x plus 1 and multiplying it by negative 2x. And over here, we're taking 7x plus 1 and multiplying it by positive 2x. So whatever they are, they're opposites. You can work that out if you want to see the details. But that means that if you add them together to find the total area, these two regions right here cancel out. They're opposites. So all that's relevant is the original two terms that we have here and here. So what does this mean? Well, this means that if we want to know what 7x plus 1 squared minus 4x squared is in terms of a factored form, it's just this binomial times this one. And look what starts to happen here. So 7x plus 1 minus 2x. Well, 7x minus 2x is 5x. And then we have 5x plus 1. And over here, 7x plus 1 plus 2x is 9x plus 1. So those are our two binomials, and our final answer is 9x plus 1 times 5x plus 1. And that's it. All right, thanks.